Okay, my name is Iskander Tan. Um, I'm 58 years old this year, and I'm from Malaysia. Ethnically, I'm Chinese, okay? Uh, my grandfather came from China, but I was born in Malaysia, um, into a um, Methodist family, Protestant Methodist. Um, my family is fairly religious. I embraced Islam in 1983, around July, um, cannot remember the exact date, but uh, you know, it was middle of Ramadan, 33 years ago. And um, I heard about Islam, of course, Malaysia being a, you know, a predominantly Muslim country, majority are Malay Muslims, yeah, about 55% uh, to 60% now of uh, Muslims. And from young, of course, you know, we grew up uh, going to church, um, not knowing uh, much about other people's religion. And uh, we usually refer to uh, Islam as the Malay's religion. Okay, so it's ethnically connected. And uh, I started learning uh, about more interested in, in religion when I was in my teens, in my teenage years. And what my, especially my family, I mean, they were Pentecostal uh, Christians. And uh, we were very active and uh, we attend courses and classes. And um, some of the classes we attended were comparative religion. And I've actually attended quite a number of them, uh, including uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Sai Baba, and, uh, you know, uh, and finally, uh, I think it was back in 1980 that the church organized uh, a pastor from Egypt to teach about Islam. So this is the first time I really go in depth into knowing Islam, all right? It was a three days course, three evenings, I would say. And there was a book, he gave us a book that he wrote about Islam, okay? And I read it. Of course, what he told us in the, uh, you know, uh, in the seminar was how bad Muslims were, unfortunately. As I read the book, I said, look, uh, I was able to discern, all right? If you say Islam is like this, and the book was fairly accurate, if I look back now. Uh, what other people do to their religion and to themselves has nothing to do with the religion, all right? I mean, if they misbehave, all right, it has nothing to do with Islam. If Christians misbehave, it's nothing to do with Christianity. So it started me on a journey, uh, basically to read further, and uh, it took me about three years before I uh, accepted Islam in 1983. I was attracted because of the concept of the oneness of God. and. Um, since I was young, I always wonder, you know, uh, about existence. I was the inquisitive type. And I love to lay down on the roof and look at the skies. I, I think probably that started me on this journey of the, uh, the quest. So I will say that, you know, it started in 1980. I would say that when I was a child, all right, just that uh, we were not exposed to any other religion except Christianity. So this is how, uh, you know, I took the step. Well, I was busy with life, working, um, and also learning whatever I can. Because there was very few books in English uh, those days. And uh, what happened was uh, I, I went to London, and I went to the uh, region, region Street, I think there's a mosque, a park mosque, something like that. I cannot remember. And I saw the Quran, and I and I bought it, and I read it. Okay, so and when I returned, and uh, I decided, I had a few, very few, Muslim friends at that time, uh, but they were, they did not tell me a lot about the religion, but they did show me, um, and I was impressed by their, um, you know. Uh, I was impressed by 
how they treated me with always a lot of respect and even the very few uh, in the concept uh, you know in religion in Islam they told me about it and um, I think I was naturally inclined uh, you know to, to, to accept it well I come from family all right of moderate uh, Christians um, I know that my family would not would not uh, you know uh, uh, allow me or, or would not permit or, or, or approve but I was in the doubt and um, I know I could uh, you know uh, I could con convince them in, in the process and which I did because I, I studied quite a lot uh, and I was knowledgeable about the Bible at that time and uh, I explained to them all right, and I was confident of uh, my ability to, to explain my, my religion because I was using more or less that comparative religion at, at that time, all right, and comparing the similarities and explaining to them why, you know, about the oneness of God and God being uh, uncreated, all right. And I still remember I said, I, I, told, I told my family, once God becomes a creation, it's a creation. Is no longer a creator. So this is how I was. I was confident of my ability, basically. So and I felt that it was a time that I, I, I need not search anymore because I practically stopped searching. All right, and uh, once I started learning, then the conviction grew, and I made the decision. Yeah, Islam has changed my life uh, in many ways. Actually, in almost every way. Um, Why? Well, Still, um, I'm very close to my family still, all right, and they are very close to mine, and um, my family felt that I, I was, I mean, I'm a better son than I was before. <laughs> we are both right and wrong, but, uh, you know, I, I have been, uh, you know, um, uh, concerned about them, and I always, uh, you know, uh, keep in touch. I brought my dad and uh, you know, um, to live with me, uh, and he said his shahada when he was 74 years old. Yeah, how many years he has passed away uh, since? I would encourage you to look inwards to yourself and pray to God to give you the courage that you need. God willing, you will find the courage to do so.